So question 2a, we've got to find the vertex for this uh, equation. And normally I like to see students actually graph it, just so we know exactly what we're talking about here. But in question 3a, we're going to graph this one anyway. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and use the formula to find the vertex. And then um, we'll be graphing it in question 3a, so we can verify that we were correct. So the vertex is um, basically the x-coordinate is uh, negative b over 2a, okay, and the y-coordinate is this number plugged into the formula, if that makes sense, okay? I mean, that's the, the, the easiest way I can describe it, right? So this, the, the x-coordinate is negative b over 2a, and then you get that answer, you plug it in to get the y, because if you have a value of x, Right. Obviously, if you have a value of x, you can always, to get y, you just plug the x value in the formula. Okay. So that's pretty much the easiest way I can describe how to get the vertex. So um, the the x coordinate is going to be negative b over two a, right? And that's when we have, you know, what's what's a and b. Well, um, for this equation. The, it, the a, b, and c are the coordinates, right, of, 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 of the form, you know, ax squared plus bx plus c, right? So when you have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, a would be 2, the coordinate of x squared, what's b and what's c? b would be 8 and c would be 1, right? So negative b over 2a, I should have put parentheses there, sorry, b is 8, right, and what's uh, a? a is 2, right? So that is negative 8 over 4 which is negative 2. So the the x value right is negative 2 and now we have to find the y value. So we found x we have to fi find y. Well Shisha I wonder how we're gonna do that. Have you any idea? Well we have a formula here. y equals 2x squared plus 8x plus 1. Right? That's a formula for y in terms of x. y equals 2 times x squared plus 8 times x plus 1. So that's a formula. So if, if x is negative 2, what's y? Well, just plug negative 2 into the formula and then you can get y, right? So 2, and what's negative 2 all squared, by the way? Negative 2 all squared is negative 2 times negative 2 which is positive 4. So we have 2 times 4 and 8 times negative 2 is negative 16 plus 1, right? So that's 8 minus 16 plus 1, so that's negative 8 plus 1, negative 7. So y is negative 7. So the vertex the x value we calculate to be negative 2, we plug that into the formula and we get y to be negative 7, right? And so there's your vertex, negative 2, negative 7. And then when we go to 3a, we're going to graph this and, and just kind of verify that that is in fact the vertex, right?